Sergio, September 18th, the bicentennial of Mexican independence. You happen to be headlining one of the best cards you could ask for. How do you feel going into this fight? And um, let's talk a little bit about the bicentennial. Well, it's a huge, huge uh, weekend for, for not only Mexican and Mexican Americans, but this is a, a big opportunity for me to, to steal a date that's been. Uh, actually conquered by Oscar de la Hoya and a lot of Mexican legends like uh, Cinco de Mayo on September uh, 18th because it's a very special day for, for Mexicans and Latinos and for the boxing community. So this is my first huge big card and uh, I'm going to take full advantage of it and be the first Mexican to beat uh, Shane Mosley. Now Shane, how do you explain um, the mass support you get from the Mexican fight fans? Have you beaten a lot of Mexican <laughs> fighters yet the, fight fan, the Mexican fight fans show you all kinds of love? Um, from Pomona to East LA, all over the place. You, you're a pretty loved fighter by the Mexican people. Why? I believe it's uh, being basically raised in the, in the Mexican community, if you will. I mean, Pomona is, uh, if you go to Pomona, it's mostly, it's mostly, mostly uh, Latinos. If you go you know, East LA, all the California. And growing up here fighting all these tough Mexican fighters, it's kind of molded me. And uh, they, just, they just know. They know that uh, I'm a great fighter. Now let's talk a little bit about Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley is a legend in his own right, first ballot Hall of Famer. He's beat the likes of guys like Oscar De La Hoya, um, knocked out Margarito. He's beaten some of the best in the business. Is this by far your, your toughest opponent to date? Well, styles make fights. This is definitely my toughest opponent. Not to say Vernon wasn't the best, technically, but my toughest, maybe strongest, fastest, has to be Shane Mosley. Mosley's, he's probably the best body puncher, technique. He has a little bit of everything. He's a, a throwback fighter, and I don't think the fighters that I've faced in my last 23 fights have had his talent. They don't have his uh, same appeal, his aura. Shane Mosley's a real deal, and I'm taking this fight very serious. I know what I'm against, and uh, it's time for me to go to work because it's my time now. Now, Shane, let's talk a little bit about the actual match matchup. You're going to be matched up against Sergio Mora. He's a tough guy, he, again, a former world champion. What's going to be the keys to this fight for you, and maybe what are some of the um, weaknesses that you look to uh, exploit? I think that fighting Sergio Mora, I'm going to have to really uh, go in there and try to break him down. He's a mover, and he throws a lot of good combinations and speed, but I'm going to have to go out there, uh, use my strength and my power, and uh, really try to walk him down and get the good shots and, and uh, really stay busy too because he's a very, a very busy fighter and a very good fighter. Now, Sergio, what would a victory over Sugar Shane Mosley do for your career? What's well, another Hall of Famer on my resume? Everyone knows that uh, you, you need to have these fights to prove to people, the real boxing fans, that you have what it takes to be the next star of boxing. I've already uh, beat the late, great Vernon Forrest and won a title off him. Now it's time to beat another one. And if I can have the opportunity to fight all the fighters that Oscar De La Hoya lost to, that will be even bigger because uh, that will be what I ultimately would love to do. And then if one day that superstar over there, Saul Canelo, wants to step up and do something big in Los Angeles, we can do that as well. Now, Shane, I, I know his height and his length are a bit of a concern for you. How do you plan to offset, offset that? I believe uh, I'm going to have to do a lot of movement, a lot of ducking, and under a lot of the shots, and getting in with those body shots, break them down. And Sergio, now what are the keys to this fight? Um, what, is some, what, is, what do you feel are advantages for you against Shane, and maybe what do you feel are maybe some of Shane's advantages in there? I really don't think I have many advantages over him. I think he's, uh, he's probably going to be faster, stronger. Uh, more experience. He's probably a better body puncher. He probably has everything over me, but I'm still going to win. I'm a winner. I come in with strategy. I think the only thing I have over him, aside from height, is intelligence. Not to knock his education or intelligence, but in order to win, you got to use this first instead of this and then those. That's how it works in boxing. It's not about speed. It's not about power. It's not about none of that. You come in with a game plan and you have the fortitude to do it from the first round to the 12th round. That's how you come off with victories. And lastly, Sergio, whose backyard is this, Sugar Shane's or Sergio Morris? Well, listen, I'm not ignorant, man. I, I live only a couple of blocks away from me. I could easily say it's mine, but let's keep it real. Shane Mosley has fought here more than me. He's been in more big opportunities and more big under uh, big cards where he's showcased and proved that he's the best and one of the legends of the sport. So I would say it's his backyard up until September 18th where I st steal it away and take it away because it's my time now. Now, Shane... Sergio seems to think, and, he, and he's been very vocal, that this is his time. He respects you and whatnot, but this is his time and this is his backyard. Staples has been your backyard. First of all, is this a battle over for, uh, for territory? And secondly, how do you feel about him talking about it? it's his time to come up? I mean, it's definitely a battle for the territory. I mean, this is, this is where I live. This is my home right here. I mean, I have two great victories at the Staples Center. 
and uh, he can't come to the Staples Center and, and do any damage. It's, it's my home. So we're going to make that clear September 18th that uh, he has to come through me. Now, so Shane, what can we expect on September 18th and maybe a, a message for the Mexican fans? Well, you, you can definitely uh, expect fireworks uh, on September 18th. And um, you know, I'm coming with everything. I'm coming with all my speed, power, and heart. And um, like I said, so there's going to be interesting moments in the fight where something's going to happen. You're going to be standing up.